my god i was able to get another foundation sample this is the lys beauty triple fix serum foundation i've reviewed the lys setting powder already that's on my channel most of the time i won't get my exact shade that i would pick in these but i like to test out the formula for you for like oily skin if you have oily skin like me but this this is actually this one here is exactly the shade that i would pick so it's gonna be a really good review before we get started if you're new welcome my name is Jen, Jen's Beauty Style. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Let me just show you here. This is their setting powder. Most of their like bronzers and blushes come like in this triangle form. This is a talc free powder. Really like it. Available in 35 shades. They have a nice selection and the shade we will be using today is this one here called L. And six is a light nude. This is light skin with neutral undertones. Retails for $22. It's not bad at all. Hyaluronic acid, medium coverage. I love a good medium coverage. Uh, it's vegan, Allure 2021 Best of Beauty Award. Good for dullness, uneven texture, and is black owned at Sephora. This tells you all the ingredients it has. Ashwagandha, a powerful herb that combats skin stress and Visible signs of aging, turmeric, provides antioxidant protection and visibly brightens, evens, and soothes skin. Build as desired, so it's buildable. For oily skin or for a more matte finish, follow with triple fixed translucent pressed setting powder. Want your skin to be nicely, you know, prepped before you go in so your makeup looks flawless i was like i really want to do this video but i'm not supposed to be like getting makeup anywhere near these brows so i'm not really gonna be blending like i'm just gonna be blending like around here even if it looks weird shade looks interesting i'm just gonna put here an amount like that i'm gonna start blending this in let me smell it no smell Okay, looks like a nice amount of coverage. What do you guys think? I mean, it's definitely toning down my redness. That, like, look how easy, like, that just spread all over. It wasn't like I had to spend a whole bunch of time blending. That was pretty quick. I'm gonna, like, blend. Mm, let me not get near those brows like put some here carefully the coverage is very good i wouldn't say it's too light like it's definitely a medium okay it's not like super full coverage it feels good like it doesn't feel like heavy okay now i'm gonna go into this side that is very pretty i'm getting ready to do this side And I'm just like patting it and then I will like buff it in. Definitely still see through my skin. Right now it's looking a bit um glowy, I would say. I am gonna set it with the powder, right? They did say for a more matte look, set it with the powder. That's what I'm gonna do. I have a sponge here which I need to get rid of ASAP. I'm gonna try to like Get it as much as I can here. So remember, this is buildable. I feel like you will definitely get a bit more coverage with a sponge. This would be like two applications on this side. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Let's go ahead and apply the powder. I'll apply to like half of my face first so you can see. Translucent. I like to apply with a flat brush. Said I love that this powder isn't like a stark white, which they have different colors for you to choose from. So that's another plus. Let me see. All right, like that, I really like it. Finally blocked it out, any shine from the foundation. 
and put it on half of the nose. Put it around my forehead, making sure no powder is falling on my brows. So you have either style that you can go with. So right now it's 5 o'clock. Leave it about, let's say, 11 p.m. I have a little bit left here. Let me just try to swatch it next to this. And what I'm going to see is if there's a color change whatsoever. I know this is not completely dry, right? It would take at least... I don't know, maybe another 30 minutes for it to dry more. But as of now, I don't think that it's oxidizing much. As of now, we've spent like 15 minutes here. I'm not going to do the rest of my face because like I said, this is the most makeup I will put. I will update you guys, I guess, during the day. See if I'm getting super oily, if the oils are coming through or anything like that. Alright, so this is my first update. It's 7 o'clock. <gasps> these lash, these um brows are itching. They're starting to itch because they're healing. Okay, let me just say, I was just looking at myself in the mirror, right? And my cheeks... I don't know, I just love how they look so much. I feel like around my forehead, it doesn't look as bad now. I still don't like as much how it looks around my nose. See like a line here? Do you see that? Like here? See if it's like in an area where it's going to be creasing a lot, maybe it'll start like to get a line or something. You see some shine coming through. You see, I'm not matte whatsoever. I'm not saying I'm super oily, but I'm not matte anymore. And it's just two hours and you see my oils are starting to come through. I don't know if it's my oils or just the foundation. I'll try to come back like at 9 and then at 11. We will see. But... I, I honestly do think this looks beautiful. Okay, so it's 920. I hope you can see what I am seeing in my mirror. I am looking super, super shiny. Like, it's insane. Like, there's no matte section on my face. just want to point out that by now, I would have blotted my face. I'm just not blotting so we can see. You know how the foundation looks like. Look look at this line. Oh my god, my uh, lashes. My lashes. My brows are itching so much. I really don't like how my foundation is looking in this area at all. Like, it's not just like, oh, the glow's coming through. No, it's, it's not looking pretty in this area. I'm still going to try to wear it for another two hours. But, I mean, just imagine what I'm going to look like. I will blot at 11 just so we see how the foundation looks but just because I have very oily skin if you have probably normal or combination this probably looks beautiful maybe you like oily skin and you've tried it and you liked it let me know if you do that'll be pretty interesting we all like different things we all have different skin I'm not liking how it's looking on me like like what is this here I don't know I have to also see when I blot if a lot of the foundation like comes off. Okay, so it's 11 as expected. I'm looking pretty rough because like I said before, I have not blotted even once. Look at that. Oof. Just take a tissue and I'm gonna pat it. I'm not gonna rub whether you guys think that I'm rubbing, I'm not. I'm just patting it and then going over it like this with my hand. So I'll just start on one side so you can see, okay? So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pat it. Oh, look at that. That is so weird. Look. Like, where is the foundation? That's pretty good, right? I was expecting like so much to be here. Now I'm gonna do the forehead. I'm just gonna press it in. I also think it's looking pretty clean because I just left it the foundation and the powder. I never put like bronzer, blush, or all of that. 
So you see it's a huge difference. That's how we started. This is how it ended. And let me just do a side of the nose. Okay, now let me look at it up close. See all my pores super emphasized. The news is that if you blot, it looks good again. Like new. So here we go, this side finally. I was like dying to do this. So you see I'm just pressing it in. Wow, so pretty. I like that it doesn't look hakey. Once your oils start coming, at least for someone super oily, is not going to look cute. Like your pores are going to be all up in your face. Like, no, I'm going to get super oily. And I will definitely have something to blot. If you just want a straight, like, matte foundation, obviously this is not the one. But if you like a bit of a glow or you don't mind blotting a bunch of times a day, then I would recommend it as a beautiful foundation. And blotting, like, everything's still there, you know? Nothing has moved. Don't you tell me, what do you think? Would you purchase this? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the playlist of all the other foundations that I have reviewed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.